Hi, this is Saul. Today I'm going to show you a way that I used Visidata this week to make my life easier. So my coworker Veronica asked me to put together a bubble map of population data for cities in four U.S. counties for comparison purposes. So I figured out how to do that basically with Google Maps and I got one bubble working by hand. But now I need to get the data for the other cities in there. So I found a CSV file that included the lat long coordinates and population data. And so here it is. Let's just do at first a, a little simple graph of the latitude and longitude coordinates so that we can see if this is sensible data in the first place. So we'll convert each of these to a number with percent sign. These are floating point numbers. And then we'll make the longitude be the x-axis by making it a key column with bang, the exclamation point. It means it's important. And you can see it move over to the left there. And then we'll just plot the latitude column with dot, the period key. And that produces this little graph. Now we've got a couple of points on the right hand side. Those are actually, in the, you know, the earth wraps around. These are past the international date line. So I'm just going to select these so we can get a little bit of a cleaner view of this. I selected those with the mouse. And then now I can press D to delete them, just like on the source sheet, but these, this actually will delete these points on the source sheet and then reload the canvas here. And then underscore will resize the canvas to fit all the data and sure enough that looks pretty much like the United States. It's all the cities in the United States. So okay, that looks pretty sensible. So now I'll quit out of that sheet and go back to the main sheet here. So let's pull these counties out. So the easiest way is probably to group by the county and state together. We can't just do only the county because many counties have the same county name in multiple states. So uh, if we group them together, then we'll have a row for each county and state. So we'll make the county be a key column and the state be a key column also. This is because uh, frequency analysis normally does the frequency on the current column, but to do multiple columns, we're going to use a different version, which goes over all key columns. And so now these, the county name and state ID are the key columns. So G capital F means use all the key columns. And here we go. Here's a list of all of those grouped. And so each one of these bins refers to an underlying number of rows, well, the cities that are in that county. And so for instance, Allegheny, Pennsylvania has the most cities of any county, and that's got 157 cities. But we're looking for Boone County, Missouri, start. And so I search with slash, just like in Fame and other tools. And N for next, for the next one. I'm looking for Missouri, that's that. And so when we select a row on this sheet with S, on the frequency analysis sheet, we're actually going to also see selecting the 11 rows on the source sheet, which is what we want. So we can actually be pulling only those cities out eventually. So that was Boone, and then we're going to look for Charlotte, Florida, and select those, and then La Crosse, Wisconsin, and then select those, and then Clinton, Iowa, and there actually are a bunch of Clintons in here. Where are you, Clinton, Iowa? There we go. And then select those. Now we've got the cities from four counties selected, and if we quit out of the frequency analysis sheet, we can skip down uh, and see all these selected rows here with the curly brace and so you can see they're selected that's great and if we pull these all into their own sheet with double quote then here's the 52 cities that are in those four counties which is just the data that we need we only really want the latitude and longitude let me unselect these just to get them back to plain white color here and so I'm going to hide everything but and hide with minus minus hides a column hide everything but the city name and the latitude and longitude and population. Population should be a number. It actually is an integer, so we'll use the number sign to convert that to a number. And remove the other columns. And this is the data that we need. All we're going to do is save it off as a JSON file with Control S and then change the extension. As long as the extension is JSON, it'll save as JSON in the JSON format. And then there we go. Now it's saved off. And if we quit out of this and look at that sheet, the JSON file that we saved off. This is exactly the data that we need. And we, I basically just took this and pasted it into the HTML that I had, and it just worked. So that's how I did that uh, workflow, and it was pretty reasonable. 
And uh, thanks for using Visadata, and I will see you next time.